everybody we are back with another vintage toy review and today we are taking a look at some tabletop pinball games and today i have a star wars unit and we got a spider-man pinball game unit these are kind of neat um without further ado let's just hop right into the review um just looking at them they're really neat they're uh very similar to a vintage pinball machine in regards to how it's set up, how they have the backdrop that you play over, and it has this pop-up screen right here, which the pop-up screen is pretty neat, and you can actually like lay it flat or pop it up. And then um, I do like these a lot in regards to the the playability of them, uh, to be able to have a pinball machine at home, basically, uh, one that you can just bust out and play on the top of your table so we got on the back here we have the battery unit and that's where all the sounds are generated we got the pinball flappers here the left and the right side on the back we have the speaker which just had a piece of tape over it for some reason and we have the on off button so we're going to turn this unit on and then Looks like, we'll look at the Star Wars one in a second, because they're very similar, they're actually almost the same, and if not identical. But let's get... They just have different sound bites, obviously. So, let's get the, the ball. Again, it looks like it's kind of too flat, almost. It needs a little bit of a tip. So I guess the noise of you hitting the flapper is actually um, him shooting wet. So, but a basic little tip on these allows it to basically be at the height you probably need. I guess you could rest a book underneath. And actually, if you look down here, it'll actually tell you what turn you're on every time you you push this one down the mechanism will tell you what turn you're on so uh, that's neat too so it'll let you know like if you're playing with a buddy you know it's not your turn anymore it's someone else's turn and then it also has your your score up here on the scoreboard which I'm at 90 right now so or zero now but every time you hit the the red button on top that resets the score for the next player so and again you score when you hit the the blue orbitals that are they have springs on them every time you every time you hit them they're basically pretty sensitive so um, that's that feature is at least pretty accurate you're not get, you're not cheating kids out here playing pinball so that's nice uh, the song's a little repetitive a bit annoying I can see why there was tape over the the speaker. Uh, there are there's, the flippers are all right. They're kind of responsive. There, the gap I believe between them is a little, a little large. You can't really roll the ball from one flipper to another. It's guaranteed to basically go down. Um, yeah, that, well, that music's really annoying sometimes if you play it too long. But yeah, I think the the music probably needs to be a little bit lower. If there was a volume control, that would be sweet. Um, being able to hit the, the blue, the five blue scoring pads, those are, that's fairly easy to hit. Um, I do like the way that the, the pinball machine's set up. It's got two sections with rubber, rubber round bumpers, and it's got three up top, which are basically slotted slots that are just straight plastic with no rubber. Bouncers, they would probably need to be separated more if that was the case too. But, um, those allow you to basically channel through the scorers here or the score center that's in the center here. The backdrop, the art, pretty sweet. Um, you got the Green Goblin, you got Spider-Man and some other Spider-Man villain all coming after him as he's shooting webs as you're scoring it up. So I imagine the way that they set it up is you have at least a score by the Green Goblin, a score by this other villain. So whenever you hit these, it's basically like him shooting web and all this stuff. And the other ones, I imagine, are for defensive in regards to the abstract background tying into the actual game. So this is from 2010, the Spider-Man unit, and you have another action scene down here with Spider-Man, and there's your little counter. Here's the, the flipper drop, and that's your, your plunger right there. So um, yeah, pretty nice little unit, little tabletop unit. 
these are these are pretty sweet now they sold these a a while back obviously about eight, eight years ago almost 10 years ago um and i haven't seen anything like this since in regards to tabletop pinball units that are you know under 50 dollars at the store so this is the star wars version of the pinball machine and this doesn't have music which is kind of neat um the let's see sounds like it sounds like the stormtroopers are motorized that's what the noise is basically is a stormtrooper firing But then again, I do hear like a lightsaber sound, so I'm not really sure which one is the lightsaber. It looks like the center one might be the lightsaber, and the top ones and the bottom ones are... Nope, that was the dead center one. That was... Okay, so... Okay, so this one it sounds like it makes the lightsaber sound. Because I just hit it twice and. Ah. Kind of just skip it up there. See, now that's weird because then I just hit the center one again and it made the lightsaber sound. Well, regardless, anyway, it, it phases on and off in regards to what what noise it's making but this one's sweet because it doesn't have any music so in regards to the two of them the comparison of the two of these this one's definitely a little bit more fun because it makes the noise when it's time to interact it's not just blaring music at you um like who wants to hear this it's not even something that i mean it's so loud i have to like scream over it but it's not even something that you want it's not gonna get you like riled up, ready to play pinball. Like I don't. I mean, does anyone get riled up and ready to play pinball? But I mean, it's definitely this is nice because at least it interacts with you when you hit the scoring pads. It's not loud, blaring music with like really minimal web shots. So I do like the uh, the Star Wars one in comparison. Same year, 2010. Um, so yeah, the back of this. We got 2009, but released in 2010, and the back of it's exactly the same. We got your battery compartment, you got the bottom of your flippers, a little bit of empty space here and there, and you have your score where, again, um, let's do, let's see if, let's get, so once you hit the red button, it resets your score, so. Uh, that's neat too because especially if you're playing with a friend you could you could sit here and play as many turns as you want and Or do you agree upon with your friend and then just note your score and then as soon as their uh, Turn is up you can hit the reset button right on top Which is really super easy and real nice to hit and then then they can go and you guys can play against each other I think it's kind of neat like having the ability to play pinball like this without it having to be a video game And it's a tabletop unit which has minimal electronic interface with it it's just specifically the mechanics of pinball now i imagine these probably came with some kind of feet or something because there's two notches here and it does say lr so i imagine there was some kind of feet that elevated it um when it originally came new in the box but again trying to find something from 2010 new in the box like this is going to be very difficult so um but yeah uh thought these were okay they're definitely under 50 dollars when i looked at the price on these so that's that at least makes it affordable for you to have a, a tabletop pinball unit so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like these particular units you have something to say about them please let us know in the comments below and uh, yeah want more, want more content like this please subscribe to this channel because we do reviews like this every friday so have a great rest of your day